Started feel like shit, hand to the worst. I won't even make a dollar if you put me on the car. Let me be the for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs. I was on them for you, fam. You're my special friend. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Matt B, aka Piff, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you, appreciate you, love you all for checking out another video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell if you like. Like this video so we can get a couple more people to check it out. Share this video to all of your platforms and be sure to comment and tell me what you think about this video. So let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody who checked out a recent video, anybody checked out videos in the past, I always try to tell women to protect themselves. Cross your T's, dot your I's. Houston, Texas. I don't know what's going on in Texas. I don't know what's going on in Houston, I mean. I've done story after story of women being gunned down in Houston. And I'm just, I'm just at a point where I'm like, damn, what's going on in Houston to the point where these niggas is really targeting women? Well, we got a story of a woman getting off of work five o'clock in the four five o'clock in the morning from a strip club club onyx um where she was getting to her home i guess opening her garage going into her garage or whatnot and somebody pulled up and proceeded to shoot 50 shots into the garage at her i'll be back with the rest of my commentary Deputies say a woman was gunned down, pulling into her garage. Dozens of bullets fired. And this is out west past Highway 6 and above the Katy Freeway on Apple Tree Hill Lane near Greenhouse Road and Morton Road. It's a shocking headline and we want to get you answers. We sent our David Gonzalez to that neighborhood to find people who knew the victim. So David, what did you find out? Ron Harris County, uh, Ron and Rekha, Harris County deputies say at least 50 rounds were fired into the home behind me. And you could see from here, at least three of those bullets hit just above the garage. As you can imagine, friends and family out here were shocked and they're still trying to process what exactly happened this morning. A car windshield riddled with bullet holes in a home on Apple Tree Hill Lane marked with the aftermath of a morning shooting that left one woman dead. It was fast. It was, duh, 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 duh. it was just like really fast. It sounded like a machine gun to me. Harris County Sheriff's deputies say a 31 year old woman was shot multiple times moments after pulling into the home's garage and getting out of the car. Investigators say about 50 shots were fired. I was shaking. I was like scared, scared. I didn't want to look out the window because I didn't know if they were like going to come back and do it again. The family of the victim gathered near the home overcome with emotions and grief. Timothy identified her as 31 year old Valicia Duncan. He called her his best friend. We have a child together and I'm, her, I'm, I'm the ex, so that goes to show you if I can say these positive things and, you know, for us to still be friends, that, that shows you a lot about her character. Duncan and Timothy's 11 year old son was not home at the time of the shooting. He says their son knows what happened to his mom and he's trying to process his tragedy. No, she was a good person, um, very sweet, very kind. Um, something like this is, is crazy. Timothy says they were supposed to finish their son's school shopping this week, who is set to start middle school soon. Right now, investigators are trying to determine if Duncan was targeted. As of right now, they have no leads, but all they could say is that they have recovered surveillance from a nearby home, and you could see a suspect pulling up in a dark colored sedan before opening fire. If you have any information that could help authorities, you're urged to call the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Back to you. All right, thank you so much. My condolences go out to, you know, the family, anyone who was hurt by the situation, anybody who was affected by the situation, and definitely for that son, man, at least he'll still have his father there, but, you know, 
he won't have he won't grow up with it he won't grow up with a mother man that that nurturing side of things man so hopefully they still have a, a bright future man but at the end of the day i don't like this shit with women stripping with these older kids man it is what it is but i'm it's, i'm not here to bash her or anything like that man I'm going to put a picture up of her, man, so y'all can, you know what I'm saying, so y'all can see what she looked like, man, since they didn't put it in a news story. I looked at a couple different news stories, and they still didn't have a picture of her, but I did. I, I looked up her name, spelt it many different ways, man, just so I could at least get a profile of her or something like that, which I didn't, but I did get, you know what I'm saying, a picture of her and everything else, man. So, you know, all I want to say is, man, I don't know what's going on out here, man, to the point where... You know, this is this is the this is the actions that we take towards our women. Ain't no telling if these brothers was in the club and, and I've done video and I got videos before of, of brothers following women at these gentlemen clubs, man, and doing harmful things to them, whether that is graping them or or, you know, what I'm saying or, or just, you know, this type of situation. But this was a situation that was unprovoked and, and there wasn't nothing she could do about it. And the, the good thing about it is nobody was there. Her son wasn't there to witness it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's so many unanswered, unanswered, you know, questions to this, man. Who in their right mind pull up on a woman? And like I said, nine times out of ten, man, they maybe followed her. From the from the gentleman's club. It might have been one of those situations. Person probably couldn't get a lap dance in the club or something. Probably something going on in that club, man, in, in Club Onyx to where they follow her back to her crib. That that's that's what I'm thinking. That's my speculations. That's why I make these videos. So I can get other people ideas and maybe if somebody knew more about these stories. And I have done videos before where people come in it on the videos that knew the people or who was close to somebody. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I would love to know more about this. Like, why? Are there going to, you know, and, and then at these gentlemen clubs, they don't have surveillance to where, you know, people are actually being monitored inside of these clubs. So, you know, we wouldn't even know where to start to even find out what led up to this situation. All I can say is, man, this shit is crazy and it's sad. I seen something, man, that was just basically saying, like, why? The, the, first, the, the, the first thing, even this, just the first thing that we could possibly do, man, is pick up a gun. All I can think, man, and I'm going to just say this. What would make you shoot at a woman 50 times? If anybody watching this video and you could comment and tell me what would make you shoot at a woman 50 times? At 5 o'clock in the morning. What would make you do that? And if you can't come in and tell me that. Then obviously you, you have the right mindset. This shit is another sad and pathetic and trifling story man. I hope to God that... Whoever done this shit, man, is caught. Women. Cross your T's, dot your I's. I know it's sad, but if you out here by yourself, be aware of your surroundings. You feel like somebody always when you even when you pulling up to your crib and you're not even thinking about it. Just look behind you. Just just because I've seen videos of women walking up to their to their doors and they're getting robbed at their doors, man. So protect yourself. 
Love you all, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. See y'all in the next one. Peace. I'm out. Start to feel like shit, hand to the worst I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb Let me be there for a while when I look into your eyes I don't see the same smile, probably blame me for the drugs I was on them before you found me Huh? Seem like everybody judged me, so I ain't worried